Tonight, an I-Team investigation into a case of animal cruelty. The Animal Rescue League calls the Golden Retriever's condition one of the worst cases of starvation it has ever seen. And WBZ's chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, has learned it's not the first time the Lowell woman charged in the case has been under investigation. You can see every bone. You can feel vertebrae. You can even see the muscle wasting in her face. She kind of becomes that cliche of skin and bones. Starved and emaciated, this golden retriever was allegedly abandoned by her owner just days after giving birth. They used the dog to make puppies, to sell the puppies and make a profit. And then they just throw the dog away like it's trash. Last August, a good Samaritan found the sick dog in the Middlesex Fells. Came in, she only weighed 36 pounds. Um, you know, a dog her size should probably weigh between 60 and 65 pounds. So she probably. She's just about half her body weight. Medford police, with the help of the Animal Rescue League and tips, tracked down the dog's owner, Yin Yan Chen. Our detective has a pretty solid case. Investigators say Chen is seen on this surveillance video trying to dump the pup at a shelter in Lowell. Workers there took a photo of the skeletal dog in the back seat of Chen's truck hours before she was found in the fells. Charged with animal cruelty and injury to an animal, we caught up with the 27 year old Chen after her arraignment. Police say that you were starving the dog and you abandoned the dog. I'm not starving the dog. Did you no, see mom. the dog? No. Did you see the condition of that dog? No. You didn't see the dog? Do you want us to show you? I don't want to talk. Police say this isn't the first time Chen and her husband have been under investigation. And she just had puppies? The I-team has learned in early 2018, a Providence, Rhode Island court ordered the Chens to stop selling puppies. Shortly thereafter, the couple moved to Wilton, New Hampshire, where Chen's husband, Ziwi, was found guilty of animal cruelty. Months later, the couple moved to Andover, where police say they were under investigation for allegedly selling sick puppies out of their apartment. <laughs> Andrea Della Croce says her family bought one of those sick puppies. We just fell in love with him. He is the sweetest puppy. Ollie was a gift to her 10-year-old daughter, Sophie, who just had a liver transplant. What was your first wish? For a dog. But just days after getting Ollie home, the family learned he has a life threatening heart defect. It was heartbreaking finding out that he had this condition, especially after everything that we had been through with mm -hmm. Sophie. But we also feel like he's in good hands. We are capable of, of handling medical diagnoses. As for the golden retriever, she's been doing great. She has a, a great disposition. Hopefully, we can get her on a road to recovery and find her a good home. Chen was ordered to have no contact with animals and is due back in court in January. Police say the investigation remains active and ongoing. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.